Right guys, uh, back here with my uh, brother's motor. He's just painted it all up and all that. Made it look quite nice. Um, we're just going over the bottom end right here. So, because my brother's doing turbo and I would do this even if I had an NA car. This is an oil uh, release valve for your motor. So that's where your oil pickup goes into, into your oil pump. Then it's got a channel what goes through here and up to here and that controls how much pressure it's got by the spring here so what you can do is yeah you can get another spring or another way is you just whip this clip out put some washers in here and it'll make the spring a bit more tense and that will bring up your pressure I normally put about 3 mil and that will give you uh, around about 100 psi of oil pressure. That's if you want it. 2 mil, which is 2 washers, is around about 80 to 70 uh, psi. So, very beneficial if you want to do high RPM. This is how I've been able to do high RPM without blowing up my motors. That, and you've got to have enough oil. Because if you pump it too quick, um, so, as you can see, the oil just goes straight through there. So, that's how that works. Presses on this, and then that opens it up and releases the oil. So, that's how the oil works. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten that spring up a bit. And that's how we'll do it. And we'll go step by step how we remove that, put the washers in and all that. Right, guys, what you want to get yourself is one of these. Make sure it's got the wee prongs in it, so closer. If I put this, this is quite a good wee tool. I can flip this over, put it that side so it extends. Um, I've got another little wee one, but this one's a little bit too big. So, got a nice small hole on that right there. So, Right, we got that out, so, pretty filthy, so I don't want to, right, so, that's a spring, that's the cap there, right, real simple stuff, and what I like to do, is I like to push this all the way out, and clean this up, because it gets real, dirty inside there so I'm going to clean all this up put the scotch pad and then put some uh, lubrication in oil it all up, chuck it all in and I got my two sets of springs and we'll add those and I'll show you how we do that right guys so we're back here with the uh, 2E this is your oil release valve right um, this is for my brother's motor, it's turboed one so he needs about I'd say 100 psi at top, just because better uh, lubrication at high RPM is better for the motor. Uh, so that's your spring what goes in there. That's your bottom cap that does all your pressure valve. That's your top cap there, right? And you got your wee C clip over here that just goes there and seals it off. So we're using three small washers right so those washers are the same diameter as this so we're going to chuck these in the bottom we can't chuck it on the top because it's going to move around so the reason why we chuck it in the bottom here is we've got it's got some room to move around and i don't well it's not really going to move around because um it's going to be held in by this so i'm just going to get that so, we've got our three washers in there, right, three washers in there, we're going to, that's all been lubed up, I'm going to drop that in, like so, right, then, now, this is going to take a bit of fanaticing to get this in, 
So the best way I find to do this is get get a screwdriver, right? You gotta I better just clean this up and uh, I'll get back with you guys. Guys, right, so we're back here with this uh, relief valve. I'll just make sure that's tight. So the way I do it is I get this down here. I push down on that, I crank on that, right, so that's pretty much in, it just needs me to release that side. Right. So that's all in, okay. Now the way we test that is I just get my screw over and just lightly Right, so that's only gonna let a little bit go, but that's enough for it because I want maximum power. So that's that's the way you do that. So about three mil, so three washes, and that's the way I've been doing it. A couple of other guys do it like that. Um, it seems to work all right, really. So yeah, uh, try it out. If you've got any questions about it, hit us up. But yeah, that's how you do that. And that's it. All you need to do is come over here. Get the motor. Drop that back in, and then we'll just tighten that up, and that's it. Boom, 100 psi oil pressure. Yeah, 100 psi good for a turbo motor. But the thing is, if you're going to turn up this, you got to make sure you got enough oil in your uh, oil pan, or else what will happen is you'll end up running out of oil because you go through it so fast. That's why I use uh, 20, 50 weight oil, bit thicker, bit harder to start, but when you're going through it like that, it will just, yeah, it, it seems to keep its thickness in the oil, so that's why I use that stuff. Also good for long, uh, high K sort of cars. Yeah. As well. well, we've found with the this 2E motor, we've used synthetics. Synthetics are shit. After one week, they're black. They look like rubbish. Turn to water. So that's why we upgraded to that. And we don't put any synthetic shit in our motors. Just all mineral oil. Because it seems to do the best. It seems to keep the motor cleaner. When we chuck synthetics in, everything gets dirty. Especially the head. So that's what we figured out. Um, our plans for this are uh, we're just going to clean everything back. We need to replace any bearings. We're placing, we're going to replace the rings. That's a must. Um, but other than that, we're just going to refresh it and get ready to chuck it in my brother's car.